to terror in Seminole Heights. On this Thanksgiving Eve, neighbors are refusing to let the four recent murders dictate how they enjoy the holiday. Peter Bernard joins us now live from the Seminole Heights community with the latest reaction there. Peter. Hi there, Jen. It is not a normal night in Seminole Heights. Police cars are patrolling every street. There's a killer on the loose, but that's not keeping people from getting out. It's called the Wednesday Evening Pack Walk. Dog owners who belong to a Facebook page gather to stroll the neighborhood with their pets. It started a few weeks ago with about 20 people. Last week, right after the last, uh, the last shooting, it was just my family that went out. We had a nice little family walk. The numbers are slowly rebounding. We're going to go out and we're going to live our lives and we're going to do it, you know, no matter what. If neighbor Johnny Lopera has anything to do with it, this pack walk will continue to grow. Joined by his new baby daughter, wife, and four other dog owners, Johnny walked Brutus in the cool night air. A few blocks away, we spotted FHP troopers patrolling the neighborhood. Posters offering a hefty reward are plastered on poles. This neighbor offered some good advice. And I want people to enjoy this time of the year, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, man, don't let your guards down. While businesses report a downturn since the killings, Seminole Heights is no ghost town. This restaurant had a good crowd. On this Thanksgiving Eve, being out late alone is not a safe thing to do. But that doesn't mean being a hermit. It's a scary situation, and you know people are dealing with it how they deal with it. And uh, I choose to live my life. Just a few blocks from the dog walkers, this memorial stands alone in the occasional rain as a tribute to the latest victim, Ronald Felton. Jen. All right, Peter Bernard live in Seminole Heights tonight. Thank you, Peter.